Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Senate, my distinguished colleagues, esteemed Senators of the Ninth Senate, this might be the final day of our legislative journey, but the memories of what we have accomplished and the relationships we have built are worthy consolation prizes. Stepping away from an institution that grants us the privilege to engage in the redemption of our people carries a profound emotional burden, one that weighs upon our hearts with solemn grace. In the past four years, the ebbs and flows of our debates, our differences, our consensuses, and even our setbacks have defined the politics of this great nation. Whether you settle to celebrate the battles you have won or agonize over some unfinished businesses, the park remains each of you, is leaving behind indelible memories to guide generations of successors and followers. Whatever price set in, whatever melancholy possesses you, and whatever aspirations you pursue after today, you must always remember this isn't the end of the road. Nigeria needs you, and you will always need you, and will always need you, for you have served as its prized political sentinels in turbulent times. The Ninth Senate is a testament to the possibilities that can transpire when the executive and the legislature realize that they are bound for the same destination. None is the enemy of the other. It's not the architecture and upholstery of this building that makes a legislature, distinguished colleagues. Without your resolve to be the bedrock of checks and balances, this place will have been a mere decorative geography on the map of this city. The legislature is in a debating club. It serves a grander and nobler purpose. As representatives of each group in the country, we didn't come to Abuja to compare the timbers of our voices. We are here to find harmony in our diversity. We are here to protect our constituents through the communication of their desires and to defend them. We are here to ensure they are acknowledged by the executive branch of the government. The success of the Ninth Senate lies in our realization that the health of a robust democracy isn't measured by the frequency of clashes between the executive and the legislature. The anchor of this Senate is the principle that no voice is inferior to the other, that every perspective matters, and that government is nobody's personal enterprise. We achieved more when we were at peace with each other. The Ninth Senate introduced us to a complete spectrum of human experience. We have witnessed the eloquent testimonies of our colleagues in defense of reason. We have witnessed profound debates that dismantle our assumptions. We have distinguished colleagues also witnessed the pan-Nigerian spirit that restores our faith in the country. As we bid farewell to this chapter, let us remember that our journey has just begun for some of us new path beckon, and the mantle of leadership passes into fresh hands. To those who will continue this noble calling, I extend my sincerest congratulations and heartfelt, heartfelt wishes. Cherish this honor bestowed upon you, for it is a sacred trust, and let the spirit of collaboration guide your every step. To my colleagues, to my fellow colleagues who will depart this chamber, I address you not as colleagues left behind, but as friends who have become an integral part of my history. We have shared countless moments of triumph and defeat, standing shoulder to shoulder in the face of adversity and striving relentlessly for the betterment of our nation. Our bonds are forged not merely through the titles we hold, but through the fraternity and respect that transcends the boundaries of politics. I am here today bearing the weight of another responsibility, having been entrusted with the honor of serving as the vice president of our beloved nation. We may no longer occupy the same chamber, 
but will always be bound by our fidelity to the ideals of democracy. This chamber will forever bear memories of the lives we have touched, and there can be a greater inspiration to be the country, the party of the country six. As we set out to this past, into different channels of experience and influence, may the lessons of this chamber forever dwell within our hearts and guide us towards the clarity we seek to serve humanity with unwavering determination. Thank you, distinguished colleagues. Thank you, the Senate President, for your leadership, for your friendship, for your patriotism, and ultimately, for your dedication to democracy. It has been an utmost honor and a privilege to serve alongside each of you. To my incoming colleagues, I will leave you with a parable. The stability of this nation is superior to the stability of our pockets. On Tuesday, let us vote wisely. Let us vote for the Nigerian nation. Thank you so much, and may God bless us all.